This is hard. Ah, 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 no. You need help, Jake? Is that heavy? No, I do not. Good morning everyone. It is moving day. It is finally time for moving day to happen and our house is so weird and it was weird coming here and sleeping here last night because everything's in boxes. There's like no, there's no things anywhere. Like usually there's something th like a story, like a book to read the kids at night, their bedtime story. Couldn't find that. It's in one of these boxes. One of these boxes or one of these boxes, maybe in one of these boxes over here, or these boxes back here, or it could even be in these boxes over here. Perhaps these boxes over in this area, or these boxes over here. We just don't know, and that's the point. Bailey's quickly eating a banana because she did not have time to eat breakfast because she's got what today, Jacob? He, he said that very dramatically, so you might not have heard him, because it was a low whisper, but he said, basketball camp. The kids have basketball camp today. It's very exciting. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. And you should look at Bailey's sports shorts. She's wearing them, she couldn't find her shirt. Or her shoes. I know. So she does, she's wearing, she's wearing a dress and Crocs. But she's got sports shorts on underneath. She's but she's got some, some sports shorts on underneath, apparently. Where is she? Where'd she go? Let's see the sports shorts. Sports shorts! <laughs> That's awesome. All right, you guys ready to go? Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see this. There's a spider web. Let's see if I can get it in the shot. I don't really have time for this, but you see this spider web? It's going from my car here all the way all the way, all the way to this plant over here. It's crazy. I'm about to break it because I'm gonna drive away. Oh no, it's holding on too tight to the car. We'll never break it. Oh, it's, it's, the spider web is too strong. You're not even on. Do you hear it? You hear the engine revving? Yeah. But daddy. Oh, I gotta put it in reverse, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Not, not right. in Oh yeah, it, bro it broke pretty easy, actually. <laughs> so here's a funny story. We're at the new house, by the way. That's not the funny story, but this is the funny story. I went to LA to do the project with Glozelle yesterday, which I'm super excited about. I don't know that I explained it well enough yesterday how excited I am about this project and that Glozelle's the one doing it and that it's happening. I just think it's gonna be super cool and I can't wait to tell you more about it. But I had to be dressed up, as you saw yesterday, and so I wore dress shoes. And while I was away, the movers packed up the house. So today I'm moving in dress shoes. I'm wearing my fancy, my fancy dress up shoes to do all the moving and they're getting totally scuffed up and I'll have to polish them or something. I don't know, do you know how to polish shoes? No, I just think of, I'm just looking at you and going, you forgot your shoes too. Because yesterday when we were packing up, Jacob and I both forgot our shoes. So like, but you got your shoes. Yeah, I had them open up the trunk and I got some real practical shoes out. Yeah. These are my moving shoes. But by the time I had gotten there, the pile of boxes had gotten so big and the shoes were so low in the pile or something. Like we just couldn't even find the shoe box. And so I could not open it up to get myself shoes. So today I have been <laughs> running around in shoes. At least they're kind of comfortable. Like they're not like, like if I if I was a girl and I had high heel shoes, I feel like that'd be a lot worse. Guys' shoes are kind of comfortable, ish. So that's that's good. Yeah. So what I'm just thinking is, I feel like there's a, a what we learned today in the making, and how people like to guess what the what we learned today's are gonna be. Don't give away my what we learned today's. <laughs> I feel like it should be something about us and our ability to wear shoes. Oh, what are you doing over here? He doesn't need shoes. What are you doing in your little seat? You trying to go poop? Yeah. You're super cute. How'd you get so cute? 
We had a little moment last night where we all kind of gathered around and talked about the house and there were some tears because we're gonna miss the old house. That was the house that we really like vlogged in. Like the, our whole vlog journey has been in that house pretty much. We were in the manufactured home before that but, but that house was really like, that was us. And so we had some like, especially Bailey, had, we, were, we were all pretty sad that we were gonna be leaving that house. But I do have to say, I am so excited to be moving into this house. I can't wait to sleep here tonight and live here and have my kids play in that giant backyard every day and have barbecues and stuff. I'm so excited. I'm really happy, but we, we really appreciated that other house and really, really liked living there too. So that's, that's all I have to say. So when Christopher's book that he reads to the kids each night got packed up, they decided to tell stories of our old house and like kind of share their favorite memory of living in that home because last night was our last night sleeping there. It was pretty emotional and especially Bailey was really torn up. She was crying and crying and I, we, Christopher finished up nighttime and he looked at me and he was like, I think we're gonna have a lot of visits from her tonight. And I was like, yeah, I think those feelings are gonna last for kind of a while for her. She'll have emotions that carry on for months and sometimes even years. Like she'll get very teary even about our old house that we had before this house still and how much she misses it. So I think she's she's gonna struggle with that for a long time and that's anywhere we live. She just, her heart gets attached to, pl to places and I know they love this place and they are very excited about living here in the future. She just has memories and stuff that she's attached to with the old house and she's gonna have a rough time. So we're working with her on that. And she just has a big heart. What is about to happen here? My baby! My baby is gonna hold me. <laughs> Duncan's gonna hold you? Mm hmm. Hmm. You might be a little big for him. So I'm gonna hold him. <gasps> oh, plot twist. Oh, I want this way. Where the, where the, the cozy the, side up? Yeah, so it can be cozy and warm and cold. Aw, you guys are the cutest. Mm -hmm. Duncan. You are the cutest. You, 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 you. You in the zoo. Rock a He's looking right at you, Parker. In the beverage. Mommy will box. Did he open his eyes when he was born? Yeah. He didn't hold up. Dear Duncan, I love you. I want to send a message, message, message to Duncan that says, I love you, Duncan. I love you so much. The whole world is, I love you so much. So much. Alive. Dear Duncan, I love you. Dear Duncan, baby, I love you so much. That's what I'm going to say to send him. Do you remember what he did today, though, this morning? What did he do with his face? He smiled. Yeah. Well, while he was sleeping. And when he was awake. Yeah. Okay. He may need his diaper change now. Okay, I'll change it. Okay, I'll teach I'll you. I'll do whatever you want. You're such a good brother. This is hard. Ah, ah, ah. You need help, Jake? Is that heavy? No, I do not. Is that heavy? Is that heavy? What is that? School stuff. So this is the boys' room right now. We've got boxes to literally to the ceiling and which is not a safe thing to do i'm not gonna let them sleep in here with boxes to the ceiling so we've got to unpack or move these boxes before their bedtime which is fast approaching this is bailey's room no bed in here yet duncan's room he's not gonna even sleep in there tonight so we're good there this is our room no bed yet they filled up a truck dumped it here went back to the other house to refill the truck. So our room's just kind of filled with boxes. 
I don't have my desk space built yet. I just talked to a, a guy who is gonna help me with this. I was gonna do it on my own, and then I realized, you know what, I should have somebody help me with this, because I've never done something like that before. So I, I had a guy come in, and he's gonna take a look at this and kind of come up with some ideas on my desk space, which is gonna be here. But right now, I don't have a place to put my computer. So I don't know how I'm gonna edit. Closet, full. Boom. I feel a little accomplished about filling up the closet. So that's good. One thing I will say is that these kiddos have been so helpful. Have you been helpful? Uh, look at how big my bin is. Oh my goodness. Can I get, get through these boxes? So we need to get through these boxes to get to the drawers. Yeah. I'm gonna help out with that right now. We have Bailey. What are you doing, Bailey? Taking care of the baby for a quarter. For a quarter. It's being real difficult too. <laughs> this is the main living room. There's gonna be a table here eventually. And then this box is everywhere. Box is everywhere. Here's the kitchen. Everything's still in boxes, just tons of boxes everywhere. The homeschool room slash Jessica's office is right here. This is her desk that was in the other room and it's all in pieces and there's not enough space in here to put it. So gotta figure that out. And then there's the garage. We don't have any bookshelves right now. These are all our books. This whole pile is books. I didn't realize how many books we had but it's a lot of books. And then here, I can't get to the racks to put the stuff that are in these boxes in the racks, which is where they belong, because they are three boxes deep and as tall as me. So far, my favorite spot in the entire house is this right here. This makes me feel accomplished and like I did something. I actually thought the move was gonna be done by now, so I'm like stressed out that we have not gotten everything here yet. We still need our bed, we need Bailey's bed, we need our table, we need all the stuff from the shed at our old house, and it is starting to get dark. I have meetings that I have to do tonight for Haters Back Off. I have the vlog that I need to edit. I have kids to put to bed, and their rooms are not ready to receive them yet. So at this point, I probably shouldn't be in the garage talking to a camera. I should probably do, be doing one of the things that I said that I needed to do. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Much better. And you know I gotta do the obligatory Mr. Rogers shoe toss, right? Obviously. Won't you please? Past midnight, just finished with the like move over. There's still little bits of stuff at the old house but just got the bulk of the big stuff with the truck at the house. So now it's, it's time for me to do my job, <laughs> which is edit the vlog and uh, give notes on the next episode of Haters Back Off. But Jessica is tirelessly still trucking along and unloading boxes. Kind of weekly. At this point, I'm so tired. I'm just like, I'm putting it there. Here's yep. the thing. From there to there. That belongs in like pantry things that we have that aren't secured to the wall yet. I don't know if, if this is just a California thing or a parent of young kids thing, but I am terrified, like terrified of things that aren't secured to the wall. They are my biggest nightmare. The first thing I ever want Christopher to do is secure like all of our big furniture to the wall because of earthquakes and because kids pull furniture down on themselves. So I, it, that's why, if you don't know why, I'm terrified of that. So these things belong in one of those. So I guess maybe I shouldn't be doing this box. Where, does, where do these belong? What <laughs> so thing? Better. What thing? So that thing that we're gonna show you. Oh, this. Wait, have you shown our mini fridge yet? This is the refrigerator that we're currently using. Very fancy. Big kitchen with the mini fridge. Big kitchen with the mini fridge. I've been singing that to myself for the last day or two. And it's finally time I shared it with you. Was that a little Chris Farley? Yeah. <laughs> it's very little. I am so tired. I've been lifting boxes all day and moving things and instructing people. 
Yeah. That part's not that tiring. Instructing people's not that tiring. This is the pantry thing. This pantry thing here needs to be secured to... It needs to be secured to the wall. I can do that. I can do that for you right now. Uh, Would that make your night? It would make my job continue. Yes. <laughs> so here's Bailey's room. Yes. So we got all of this in here. We still need to hang her lights and stuff from the Windy Bellissimo makeover, room makeover. But her bed was one of the last things to be made. So she is sleeping in here. I'm gonna try and sneak in here. There's Parker. There's Bailey and Jacob. And this is their room. It's a mess, clearly, but they're happy. They were really excited that they all got to sleep together in the same room. And our room didn't have a light in it, so I set up studio lighting. <laughs> So I blasted studio lighting in here so that they could build our bed, which is now in here. Looks lovely. Can't wait to fall asleep on that in probably never, tomorrow. Tomorrow night, probably. Maybe even the next day, who knows. At some point I'll sleep in that bed and I'll feel like I earned it. Hi, let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that if you're trying to untether a car from a high tensile string spider web, make sure it's in gear. We learned something about our family not wearing shoes. Just kidding, I'm not even gonna talk about shoes. I'm gonna talk about the comfy side of the baby pillow or something else. And finally we learned that instead of sitting around and talking to a camera about your problems, a better use of your time might be going and doing something about them. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>